All right, let's sit down and have a conversation on why some people, owie, get results even when their assumptions are less, why some people don't get results even when their assumptions are high. I'm just going to pop a little filter on my face because I literally just got out of the shower. Ow, I have a Charlie horse that happened at the really wrong time. Okay, I just literally got off a client call. I think this conversation may help a lot of people on the manifestation side of TikTok. Please comment, engage, like with it um, so that you can stay on this side of TikTok. I am someone who educates people on how and why things work the way that they do so they can use that knowledge, wisdom, and education to change their lives in really big ways. So we're going to start with three categories of people. The first category of people are individuals who have an assumption or a belief system that's below 50%. So maybe they're at 30, maybe they're at 20, maybe they're at 40. Second category of people are in a belief system of 50-50. It's kind of like a, uh, a coin toss. On some days, they're like good. On other days, Eh, you know what I mean? It's like, it's questionable. It's not really an assumption right now. It's more of like a condition. It's like a, if this works out, I'll believe it. If not, you know, I still got some work to do. And the last category of people are people who are sitting above and beyond 50% or maybe they even have like a 100% assumption, a 10 out of 10 assumption. And so what I'm gonna break down in this video and hopefully you stay all the way to the end is why some people get results below 50%, at 50%, and above 50%, and why they don't get results at every single level as well. So that way, maybe you can use some of this to troubleshoot and problem solve your situation. And um, if you'd like to work with me personally so that I can problem solve your situation for you, tell you exactly what to do, when to do, how to do it, why we do it, links in the bio, I'm not going to get into that. So let's start at the below 50%. If you have a belief system that's below 50% and maybe you're even witnessing this with other people, I know that I experienced that a ton. I used to see people that had such a crap belief system, pardon my French, because I don't swear. Um, they had such a poor belief system, but like the reality was moving. And I was like, what is this person doing that I'm not doing? Because every time I chat with this person, they're constantly on the whining train express and they've got that VIP platinum ticket because every time I talk to them they're telling me about everything that's going wrong and I, I, I just want some of whatever the heck that they're sipping on because I don't understand how you could talk that poorly and get a result. Now the reasoning why someone wouldn't get movement or result below 50% is hopefully very self-explanatory. It has to do with the fact that they haven't had a strong enough belief system and what they need to work on is increasing the belief system. The way to work on increasing a belief system is to repeat it more, internalize it greater, as well as poking holes in why it's actually not a valid belief system. And focusing on the art of really becoming that person, becoming your affirmations almost. Saying them until that's just who you are as a human being, not saying it to get it. Because those are very different things and you're not going to get results that way. But why would someone get results at below a 50% belief system? Because if universal law states your dominant assumptions, your dominant vibration creates your reality. Well, that's not dominant. So why are they getting results and I'm not? It has to do with the fact that they are not as emotionally attached to the outcome. Now hear me out. When it comes to having witnessed more than 10,000 people get results as a coach and seeing intimately behind the curtain of people's SP stories, of people's new love stories, of people's money stories, of piece, people's business glow ups, health glow ups. I've helped people do it all. And these are a few of the key traits that I've realized is that people that have a lesser belief system under 50%, they did not have as much emotional attachment to it. And what a lot of people aren't teaching about, at least not that I know of, but that I teach about heavily on my page, is emotional regulation. If you're saying your affirmations all day, every day, until you're blue in the face, and something's not moving, it's because you're not emotionally aligned to the outcome. Um, and your nervous system is just kind of in a little bit of a fit around it. Meaning your manifestation has an ability to emotionally rock you. And if something is emotionally rocking you, you definitely don't have an assumption. You have a maybe. So people who are able to get results below 50%, the thing that they have most in common is the fact that they're just treating this like a science experiment. Exactly how I tell my clients and in my programs to treat it. Treat it like Bill Nye the Science Guy or Persis the Science Girl. 
they come into it with a detached spirit, with a way uh, of thinking that's like, you know what, I want to give this a fair and honest try. I want to toss my hat in the uh, ring. I want to be able to say that, you know what, I gave it my honest effort. I'm going to do what's being instructed of me to do. I'm going to fulfill on my routine the way that Persis tells me to fulfill on my routine. And I'm going to do it until, you know, I'm going to, I'm, I'm basically going to follow instructions to the letter. But they're like, if it happens or if it doesn't happen, like I'm good. I still have backups. It's just that I feel a really strong connection with this. I feel like me and this person are supposed to be together. I feel like I'm supposed to be a millionaire. I feel like I'm supposed to have my own business. I feel like this disease is not really something that's supposed to be part of my reality. And I'm just here to give it a fair and honest try. So that if I do have to let go or make terms with it one day or another, at least I can say I did it. And I tried to the best of my ability. So that's the lower half of the equation. Let's go mid-range right now. Why would someone not get a result at mid-range? Makes a lot of logical sense that the answer remains the same, which is they just need a higher belief system. The way to get a higher belief system, we already discussed earlier. Now, why would they get it when they're still at that 50-50 range? The answer is surprising. It has to do with the emotional attachment to the outcome. When you need it, you'll be separate from it because need implies lack. That's why people in my world, if they're not able to get results just by doing the belief work, we move into emotional regulation. If they're not able to get the results with emotional regulation, we have to practice the art of letting go and the law of detachment. One of the greatest success stories I have ever facilitated in the history of my career as a coach came from a woman who worked with me for a prolonged period of time. She came to me and she wanted SP or literally nobody else. She was convinced that this connection was so important she wouldn't find it anywhere else. I told her that wasn't true, but she had other plans. We conquered self-concept mountain. We conquered shifting the assumption of this person. But there was one thing that was still missing even after the emotional regulation work, and that was the law of detachment, letting go. She had so much emotional attachment that it had to be this guy or nothing at all. That how many times have you heard people say, including myself, and I feel like I'm just talking to myself at this point, um, even though I'm literally sitting here and trying to get you guys these results is if you need it, that implies separation. Separation implies lack. You cannot manifest from lack. She had to come to terms with the fact that she wanted this treatment so much that she'd be willing to let go of this person if it meant that. And she really meant that. She didn't just go through that process of letting go just so the universe could get her message. She really kind of went through the process of, you know what, I love myself and I respect myself to such a level that if it works out with this person, that's great. If it doesn't work out with this person, I'm going to be fine no matter what because I know I deserve this treatment and I know getting anything less than this treatment from this person is actually a punishment and not a prize because it's the worst and most saddening thing in the entire world to be next to someone and to still cry yourself to sleep at night, to be next to someone and still be filled and radiating with anxiety and worries and concerns. And she really made peace with that. And like the saying says, as soon as you don't want it, everything comes flooding in. That's exactly what happened to her. Now she's engaged, she's set to be married, and your girl is about to be a bridesmaid. Getting and moving on with this whole example. Why would someone get or not get a manifestation, movement, results, however you want to put it, at the highest level? Meaning, let's just say, let's play devil's advocate, 10 out of 10 belief system. Okay, they believe this 100%, and they're like, why didn't it happen? Emotional attachment to the end outcome is why it didn't happen. You probably need this or nothing else. Other people or other things are moving, but not this. And your attachment to the outcome is what's keeping you separate from it. Why would someone get it at the highest level? Makes a lot of sense. They've done the work. They've done the emotional regulation. They've let go of the attachment to the outcome. They're focused on what's best for them and their highest good. Does this mean there are limitations to the law? No. But what it does mean is that we see a strong correlation. And if you disagree, go get 10,000 other people results and then come back to me because I ain't going to play games with people in the comments. The only people I would argue with are people who have already gotten 10,000 other people results. It is like my girl, how do you explain having perfect assumptions, perfect emotional regulation and still not being able to get what you want? It's your attachment to it it has to be this or nothing else, is an energetic mismatch. And from that place, your results will always pass you. This is not a necessary step for everyone, but it is important for some. Like, follow, and comment for more.